While capturing the city of Tiankum, the Lamanites took many Nephite women and children hostage and offered them as sacrifices to their idols. In ancient cultures, human sacrifices were often used to honor a new king or as offerings to benefit important fallen leaders in the next life. One might wonder why any of the descendants of Lehi would turn to such horrific rituals after the 200 years of peace produced by the resurrected Lord's ministry among their people. Many wicked and idolatrous practices, including human sacrifice, were likely preserved by neighboring cultures and later reintroduced into Lamanite and Nephite society. As both the Nephites and Lamanites distanced themselves from the teachings of Christ, other sources promising worldly power and fortune would have looked appealing. The Gospel of Jesus Christ expects that each person offer up his or her own heart and will. Instead of accepting personal responsibility, the Lamanites mocked the Savior's offering by violently and unjustly placing the burden of their own wicked ambition onto the heads of innocent women and children. And now you know why.